Previously on Pokemon Ash Gray. Key to take out, I noticed. Anyway, thank you, Ash. Mr. Mime is inspired to perform again. Why do battles just cause Pokemon who don't want to do anything randomly like, you know what? I want to. And we're going to have to beat you, Gary. Well, Ash, you have a lot of training to do before the league starts. I'll be sure to let you know when the tournament's begun. You know, if you want to do me a favor, maybe you could heck. Ash, I saw this whole incident from my window. Soul Poke evolved into Sorbro when you introduced Shelter to it. Seeing it in person made me understand so much more clearly. The re else? You're a pretty strong trainer. You remind me a lot of myself and Puka when I was a kid. Whatever happens, and no matter how many defeats you may face, remember never to give up. It's taken me 40 years to accomplish And we're back to Pokemon Ash Gray. And it's here. It's finally here. The episode we've all been waiting for. The episode we've all been waiting for. I don't want to install stuff right now. Remind me later. Anyway, on the last episode of Ash Gray, we you only just saw what we did. But now we're going to actually continue on. Using our raft to continue going forward. Because it is the time. I'm going to be conquering another lovely little section. So we're at Route 17. And in a minute, after I go back and heal, we're going to head south. So I will return. And we're back. And now that, as you see, my team is a fully healed. I think, yeah, Squirtle's the weakest. So now we're going to head south and into the full route, another part of Route 18. But wait, where could we be? I don't know. And we have a trainer here. Hey, you there. Let's have a match unless you're afraid to lose. And we just have generic trainer. Rain. Actually, he's not. Wow, he has five Pokemon. I'm not actually not, not used to seeing somebody with five Pokemon. They're all on level... He's on level 40. So not anything we need to worry about. But still, a Don fan here. Who would expect to actually see a Don fan of all things? But we'll go through this quickly. Still, I what we're actually doing right now is a movie tie-in. A movie tie-in, you say? But wait, packs don't have movie tie-ins. Well, this one does. In this case, we are going to be visiting someone who... Um, actually, the game hinted towards earlier, um, when we, when whatever kind of Pokemon ended up defeating Gary back in the, uh, what gym was it? Uh, that's right, the Viridian gym. So, we're actually probably going to see this time who this mysterious Pokemon is. And yeah, all these guys are pretty much weak. It's a good thing that Pidgeotto is as strong as he is. Oh, no, no, uh, no, Squirtle, you do not evolve. No, Pidgeotto, you do not evolve. Uh, I was looking for a challenge from a tough trainer, and I found it. Why, thank you. I kind of like how the music changed a little bit here, but let's go down south. Ooh, what's going on here? Is that a Dragonite? A Dragonite has something for you. It's a video hologram message of a young woman. She is beginning to speak. Greetings, Pokemon trainer. I bear an invitation. An invitation, you say? You have been chosen to join a select group of Pokemon trainers at a special gathering. It will be hosted by my master, the world's greatest Pokemon trainer, at his palace on New Island. Really, a new trainer. A chartered fairy will leave, you, will leave from Old Shore Wharf to take you to the island this afternoon. Only trainers who present this invitation will be admitted. If you decide to attend, you must decide at once. My master awaits you. There's a note asking, of course, I'm going to attend. And we got the Neo ticket. Which, then the Dragonite flies off. Neo ticket, huh? What is this about? Oh my. It just really started to rain heavily. That can't be good for this fairy. It's also a good thing that it looks like we are at the Old Shore Wharf right now. Thank God there's Pokemon Center here. I really need to heal anyway. Thank God there is... Uh... Tansy? Where's your boss? I can't heal! What happened, Lainey? I wanted to heal my Pokemon, but the nurse isn't anywhere to be found. Well, that's very inconvenient. What if I wanted to heal? Then what would I have done? Oh, well. Well, let's continue on for now. I'm sure there's got to be somewhere where we can heal, isn't there? We'll see. Alright. So. <clears throat> oh, maybe this is actually the boat to get over to there. Uh, let's talk to some of these trainers. I can't wait to get to New Island. Yep, this is the boat. Going to own this supposed po so am I, buddy. We are going to own him together. I know that's great. All right, so let's go. I'm sorry, but the ferry is not running due to the inclement weather. There's nothing I can do about the ferry being canceled. This could be the worst storm ever. A deadly storm like this happened long ago, killing all humans who braved the ocean. 
Legend says that in their sorrows, the water of the Pokemon's tears somehow restored the lives lost in the storm. But tears aren't going to save you if you try to venture into this storm now. If you try that and your Pokemon got hurt, you'd be out of luck because the Pokemon Center's been closed. The nurse in charge of the center disappeared last month. If you see her, please let me know. Well, that explains a lot of things. So, bad storm happened long ago. Many people died. Ugh. But we got this invitation. We need to find a way to get there. Well, the waves are crashing. The current's extremely powerful, but we can only get there by a raft. So, let's go. We could do this. We could do. Uh oh. We're not gonna do this. We're not gonna do this. We're gonna die. Oh my god. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, you know, at least we have Squirtle. So maybe we can find a way out of here. Uh, these Pokemon are kind of strong, I would say. No match for Pikachu, of course, but no one's a match for Pikachu. Nice. All right. Uh. I kind of do like the underwater sections. Wow, these Pokemon are actually pretty strong. A lot stronger than I originally thought they would be. You know, it's okay. Because we'll just Giga Drain them to death, and that's all we need to do. See? Uh, well, maybe two Giga Drains. But either way, boom. We good. We good, boy. All right. I did always like the underwater things. Uh, Pearl. Huh, is that a reference to Diamond and Pearl? <laughs> Probably not. Uh, these Pokemon are pretty strong, though. I don't mind it, because, I mean, we're in a very high-level air. Oops, I use Slam, which is okay. I, <sighs> well, all we need to do is get out from under underwater, see if we can find the way out of here. Random Psyduck. Why do I have a Psyduck? I don't ever remember catching a unless I counted Misty Psyduck. I keep forgetting that the few Pokemon that I actually do have, I ended up getting from that, uh, whatchamacallit, the Indigo League entry exam. Uh, I keep forgetting that my three random Pokemon are gonna randomly appear sometimes. Not that I ever will catch them or anything, but it's like, oh, I used these guys before. My Pokedex thinks I has, so... Uh, keep going. Actually, I probably could have taken care of that Staryu with Squirtle, but that's okay. Uh, I'm out of Giga Drains. Lovely. Just use Leech Seed, please. Thank you. In fact, use Toxic as well. Your bubble beams mean nothing to me. Your bubble beams mean nothing to me. Your bubble beams. You get the point. Ugh, oh, we gotta find the way to get back up. Stupid Golduck. Golduck is too powerful. Must get Pikachu out there to kick some butt. I don't care if you use Psych Up. I'm just gonna Thunderbolt you. Bye-bye. Come on. We can Ugh. All right. This is getting a little crazy. There are too many Pokemon down here. I think I see an entrance to a cave over there. I think. What do you mean I can't escape? I'm just run away. Come on! Come on! Thank you. Waterstone? Well, it looks like there's some place over here. <sighs> Whoo! Whoo! That was close. Ash pulled himself all over the wall. Okay, I'll be right back. Five hours later. No, not really. Okay. Well, we pulled ourselves out of the water. My master bids you welcome to New Island. Will you Isn't that the missing nurse, though? Oh, whatever. Oh, 
fully swelt on this on the island and have always been in service of my master. Please enter. All right. Fair enough. So, it really looks like the entrance of the Pokemon League, doesn't it? Whatever. I guess this is the mansion. Ah. I can't exit. We're trapped in here. Except they do have Pokemon League music, which is weird. Whoa. Now, in case you guys haven't figured out yet, we're playing Mewtwo Strikes Back, which is the first movie that was the, the first feature length movie of any Pokemon series, of the Pokemon series, and I guess you're kind of seeing the gist of, it's kind of a weird reflection of the Dugong, uh, uh, this kind of just a gist of what happened during everything. So, yeah, we get lost in a storm, we get invited, now we're stuck in this island with a bunch of people. Now that you are here, all trainers worthy of an audience with my master are present. And who the hell is this master? Only the trainers capable of breaking the storm have proven themselves worthy in my master's eyes. Please release your Pokemon from their Pokeballs and join the others. It will not be long before my master's intentions are clear. Alright. Well, we've at least released four out of... Why didn't we release Pidgeotto? Pidgeotto is part of this too. Whatever. Just heal me, nurse. Well, at least... The supposed servant, who's I think is supposed to be Nurse Joy, you may mingle with the trainers till my master has arrived. At least she heals us. So, all right, I guess let's mingle. Hi there, buddy. It was no problem getting through that storm for me. I rode over on Gyarados's back. Come on, let's have a battle to warm up for this master trainer. All right, so I guess we have to fight the three trainers that are here. First one we have Collector Fergus. These will, I guess, these guys will all have teams of six from the looks of it. So let's get Pikachu in there and Thunderbolt it up. Since this probably has a lot of flying types, Tentacruel. And by flying, I mean water, of course. Uh, come on, Pikachu! Stop being stupid! Thank you. It's a good thing we can heal. Mito Queen. Uh, Squirtle would do better. Because I had to pause for a second and like, huh, who could I work for the... Wow, superpower? Really? You have freaking... Oh, Vaporeon? Thanks. So I guess they're actually smartening up and doing the whole s ooh, oh, switcheroo thing. Oh my, uh, why didn't you- Vaporeon, you're stupid, you should have done something- whatever. Gold Duck, let's get Pikachu back out there. You'd think they'd be a little bit smarter than that, but I guess not. Thunderbolt, Pikachu is gonna be my strongest Pokemon again, Gyarados, which is okay, we need to actually start training Charizard a little bit too since everyone's catching up. Let's get Squirtle back out there. I'll be able to finish this off, probably. Tail Whip, really, Needle Queen? Come on, you can do better than that. Apparently not, though. And yeah! Woo! Sorry, buddy. Uh, no Squirtle, you don't evolve. Gyarados are tough to train, but once you do, it's the most dependable Pokemon there is. Yes, I'm sure you're right. Yes, let's heal, please. Uh, I guess I have to... Pika. At least, oh look, the Squirtle has the sunglasses. I love that they actually did that. This is really cool. When I when I originally did this, I did not expect them to cover the movies too, but they are. Look at this. All of the Pokemon are just out. Nidoqueen, Golduck, Vaporeon, Gyarados is over there. So let's take on the second team, which I guess is led by this Blastoise here. You haven't met my Pokemon yet, have you? Allow me to introduce you. All right, so second battle. Let's we'll start with a Wigglytuff, okay. Actually, I probably should have switched Pokemon a little bit, but that's okay. Why'd you disable that? That wasn't fun. That wasn't even fair. Let's rain dance it up. I'm no longer paralyzed or disabled, which is good. Bioplume. <sighs> Let's get Pidgeotto out there. Even though I probably could have used Charizard, I don't want to use it while it's raining. Just because, yeah, uh, when Charizard actually hits, it's like half damage, and that's the last thing I actually want to happen. Dugong. But then when we have someone like Pikachu come out here, it can use Thunder! And one hit KO that Dugong. Yeah. And we have Blastoise, which I can switch to Bulbasaur for this one. Might as well. Especially since we have the Stalasaur to the rescue! I don't care if you use Rapid Spin because I'm going to Leech Seed just keep draining the crap out of you, Blastoise. And you won't be able to do anything about it. Boom. And level 44, Nine Tails, uh, Squirtle can come out again. This is still raining, yeah. Maybe they used, like, um, Rain Dance when I wasn't watching. They probably did, actually, which is okay. Rabidash, Squirtle can still handle this. 
very well, actually. Oh, look at that! And confusion! Yeah, I, these medals don't matter too much is why I'm like, oh, I'm not too concerned with it. Goodbye. Goodbye, my friend. Squirtle, no evolving. That storm wasn't easy to navigate, but it was worth it to meet a Pokemon Master. Yes, I do agree. But who is this Pokemon Master? But we still have one more tra trainer to mingle with, it looks like. But that Blastoise is here. Dugong. Here's all the rest of her Pokemon. It's kind of nice that you get to see the team beforehand. Of course, they're all level of uh, six-person teams here, which is we've never experienced that before. I guess since it's considered the movie, it's going to be like, Oh, all these trainers are super powerful. With the Scyther, the Hitmonlee, the Venusaur, the Sand Slash, the Rhyhorn. I would think that'd be a Rhydon, but whatever. Because everyone else has evolved. I don't know why that didn't stay evolved. Anyway, let's check my team. I actually should probably switch around a little bit since Pidgeotto's kind of falling behind a little bit. Anyway, let's do this. What took you so long? It was a breeze for me. I rode here on my Pidgeot. So come on, let's have a battle and see how strong we are before his Master Trainer shows. Alright, and we got one against Cory. Which we start out with a horrible matchup for me, which is okay. We'll just switch to Bulbazar and be okay after- Oh my, that's okay. Oh my, I felt like I was George Takai for a second there. I don't even know why I did that reference, but that's okay. Pikachu can come back out, take care of that Pidgeot and probably one Thunderbolt. Yep, this Pikachu is getting uber strong. I don't know why I just said uber. Because he's uber strong! We attack, Pidgeotto! Wow. That hit when didn't have a chance. The Scyther probably didn't have a chance either. I don't know, a double team it might. I have to do hit- I have to- never mind. I'm gonna say I have to hit it twice. This might be a little tough. And then I just kill it like that. So whatever works. Uh, Bubble Beam the Sand Slash. Water Pulse is, oh, Venusaur, really? You're gonna do the old switcheroo on me? Well then Pidgeotto will just take care of you. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Ah, uh, don't. Put me to sleep, you son of a biatch, and you, of course, have uh, synthesis, but honestly, two wing attacks will be enough to take you out, so that won't matter too much. Uh, get Squirtle back out there, finish off that Sand Slash, let the phone ring a little bit. Hello, phone, whoever you are. It is Walgreens. I don't know why Walgreens is calling, so Walgreens advertise it right here. Not really. Uh, Alright, I at least need to turn off the ringer. There we go. All right. Blown away! And we just defeat the third trainer. Pidgeotto wants to evolve. That's not going to happen. That was quite a battle. I hope this master trainer is as much of a challenge as you were. Why, thank you, sir. Um, yep, yeah, we're still good. Everyone's pretty much do. I, it feels like I'm pretty much in sync with the rest of these people, which is good. I don't mind that. Uh, let's heal up again, and I guess we'll just wait for this master to come. Wow. I love how they changed the music there. It sounds kind of evilish too. It's not like the actual music, but it is. You are about to meet my master. The time has come for you to encounter with the greatest Pokemon master on Earth. Da da da! Yes, the world's greatest Pokemon master is also the most powerful Pokemon on Earth. This is the ruler of New Island and soon the whole world. Mew too. And Ash's second, technically second legendary he's ever encountered, which is Mewtwo. And this is called Mewtwo Strikes Back Ash anyways, and Mewtwo's just trying to destroy the world because Giovanni used him, and yada yada. Go see the movie if you haven't seen it. It's actually pretty good. Be quiet. From now on, I am the one who makes the rules. I am the new ruler of this world, the master of humans and Pokemon alike. You humans are a dangerous species. You brought me into your world with no purpose but to be your slave. Okay, then we're actually getting some of the storyline of this. But now I have my own purpose. My storm will create my own world by destroying yours. You nor your Pokemon will be you nor your Pokemon will be spared. They have disgraced themselves by saying, but you want to have a world of Pokemon, yet you're killing our Pokemon? What? Your Pokemon are nothing but slaves. Humans and Pokemon can never be friends. I can never be conquered. My powers are too great. None of you can best me as a trainer. Oh boy. A Mewtwo means business, doesn't he? <laughs> if you are a Pokemon, then there's no reason I can't capture you. Go, Rhyhorn. Go, Rhyhorn. You can do it. You can... Nah, never mind. That Rhyhorn went flying. Wow. Fools. Your Pokemon attacks cannot weaken me. My powers are too great. No trainer can conquer me. Fine. So... 
You dare to challenge me to a match? Very well. Like most Pokemon trainers, I too began with Charmander, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur. But for their evolved forms, I used their genetic material to clone even more powerful copies. Let me show you just how powerful my clones are. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, at least all my Pokemon want to battle, but we have to deal with Mewtwo with a very interesting sprite. And I'm guessing we have to go Venusaur to... Ah, yeah, yeah, what? 75? Um... 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 No? How am I supposed to be a level 75 Venusaur? Wing attack does nothing. I have no chance. I have. Th they're probably all on level 75. It's, th th there's no chance in this. That'll probably one hit my Pidgeotto. Won't it? Okay, two hit my Pidgeotto, but even still, this is ridiculous. I, I, I guess my only option for this Venusaur is to try to do as much damage as I can. Yeah, I'm gonna show this full fight because I can't imagine this taking too long anyway, because, yeah, that Venusaur is level 75 and I'm nowhere close to 75. So, I guess, uh, and it has synthesis. So, you just healed yourself completely, Venusaur. And with the sunlight going down on you, you might as well just say, you might as well just give me a massive middle finger right now. I don't think there's any way in hell I'm gonna be able to beat this. Like, period. Even with all the quick attacks and the... Ugh. Screw you! No, go ahead! Use all the synthesis you want. Just waste it now! That way, when my Charizard actually gets out, you're, you're gonna be fucked! You're gonna be absolutely fucked! Yeah, go ahead! Well, let's just do this quick little thing until you actually take me out like you were supposed to a while ago. Hopefully he doesn't have any more synthesis, because Charizard's gonna go out there and hopefully kick his ass. But probably not. Because, yeah, I don't have a good feeling about this. I probably should have cha taught Charizard, um, Fire Blast? Actually, he could probably learn it on his own for a while. At least I can survive, like, maybe three solar beams? So, maybe I actually have a chance against this Venusaur? Actually, that did quite a bit. I might have a chance. Let's fast forward through this a little bit since it's like, uh, not- Well, I'm- I should- YES! I got through the Venusaur! And Charizard's actually listening because he's pumped! Yes! Oh, 46! Woo! Uh, Blastoise? Oh boy. Um, let's start with Squirtle. And... I'm assuming that Blastoise is most likely probably going to use Rain Dance. Oh good, so we both used the same move. It's kind of what I wanted. Uh, let's have Charizard die. And probably some crazy... Okay, that's fine. What I'm hoping is that Pikachu's fast enough, that way it can actually use Thunder. That's kind of my goal here, which I'm not, and that's probably going to take me out in one hit. So guess what? I have no shot at this! I got through the- oh my god, I don't have a shot at all. That was awful. Um, yeah. Bye bye, Cruel World! Oh my. Blastoise, come back! As a victor, I now claim my prize! Your Pokémon! What? What? You're stealing my Pokémon? No! I- I worked so hard to get these guys! Don't take them from me! You son of a- What? That was weird. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I will extract your Pokémon's DNA to make clones for myself. They will remain safe on this island with me while my storm destroys the planet. Do not attempt to defy me! This is my world now! Uh... Charizard? No! No! Stop stealing my Pokémon! What are you doing? Run, Pikachu! Wow. I can't believe they reenacted this. This is awesome. Good job, Pikachu. Uh-oh. Come on, Pikachu! Keep using Thunderbolt! You can survive it! You can do- Okay, maybe not. No! No! You cannot compete with my master. It's futile to try. You son of a bitch! Human, you have served my purpose. I am sparing your life for the moment. But you cannot escape your fate. The hour of my vengeance draws near! I don't have any Pokemon. Hey, guys. Gyarados took... Really? After all this is happening, you're saying this? You idiots! Ugh. Pikachu, I'm coming! Oh, my. Ugh. Gotcha. Pikachu! Yes! Okay, so I at least got everybody. The clones have all escaped. 
All right. Well, at least I have all my Pokemon. And there's a hole in the wall. Okay. You can't do this. I won't let you. That is awesome that they're using the beginning music for this. They've done this really well. I'm liking this a lot. It's not going to end like this Mewtwo. We won't let it. And now all of them are fighting, aren't they? Look at me! Yeah, they're all fighting. Oh, uh, don't do it! Don't do it! Why are the Blastoises alone for some reason? The Pidgeot's alone for some reason. That's kind of weird how some of them are alone, but I know they're all technically supposed to be fighting right now. How terrible. Our Pokemon are fighting their clones like their lives depend on it. Are you all going to say the same thing? They got so unoriginal with these guys. Whatever. Oh, God. You. This is your fault. You too. How could you do this? It is useless to challenge me. Ow. Just pushes me back. What? What? Oh, now you come to your senses. I must have been under some sort of psychic control by me too. This is wrong. Pokemon are meant to fight. Aren't me isn't it supposed to be aren't meant to fight each other like this? Wish there was something we could do. These Pokemon look like they're ready to fight to- No! Pokemon are not supposed to kill each other! Pokemon are not supposed to kill each other! This is wrong! Do you see what you're doing is wrong? Ugh. No! We're not gonna meow either! Can it be? Mew? Hello there! Great! So now we see two legendary Pokemon. So, finally we meet. I may have been cloned from your DNA, but now I will prove that Mewtwo is better than the original. Superior to Mew! This world is too small for the two of us. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh god! It's such a menacing battle! Ugh! Stop fighting! <laughs> it uh, doesn't even notice me. Guys! Stop! Stop! What do we do, Nurse Joy? You just repeated the same thing you just said. Do you guys say anything new? Well, what did Ash do in the movie? That's right. He ran right in the middle of them! Stop! Wow. Ash was turned completely to stone. Fool. Trying to stop our battle. I have to say, I really like the music for this. Pika P. Pikachu's trying to shot. Oh, this part always made me cry in the movies. Oh, all oh, the Pokemon are moved by Ash's sacrifice. Their tears are swirling around Ash, restoring him to life. Yay! The Pokemon tear thing was accurate. The human sacrificed himself to save the Pokemon. I pitted them against each other, but not until they set aside their differences did I see the true power they all share deep inside. I see now that the circumstances of one birth are irrelevant. Boom. That line there? Pokemon agrees with equality. Come on, world! Learn from Pokemon! It is what you do with the gift of life that determines who you are. People of the world! Learn from this! A TV kids show had more sense in the world right now! I will now go where my heart can learn what yours knows so well. What transpired here I will always remember, but perhaps for you these events are best forgotten. And our memories are wiped of this, so we don't remember anything of what happened. Yeah, And we're back! With the storm gone! That storm came up so quick, I guess it... I guess I took cover in this war. Nobody remembers what they were doing. Sperry goes to New Island, but there's nothing there. There's nothing there in New Island anymore. Being a Pokemon trainer can be strenuous. Sometimes it takes you to places you don't even remember going to. Ha ha, you're right. Incredible, that fierce storm moved as quickly as it appeared. So good to have things clear again. So I wonder... What's at New Island now? Might be a good time to check and see. So this is New Island. And it's surrounded by a tree. A lovely, beautiful tree. So, I'd say this is a good place to end the episode. Well, actually, no. Not quite yet. So, we know a tree is there. But what... I wonder what comes of everyone else, though. 
Well, it's okay. And yeah, you just appeared. So, I guess we will just return to the Pokemon Center with hopefully a Nurse Joy. Nurse Joy is there. What do you have to say about Nurse Joy? I took a tutorial here for Diggle's Tunnel, but I seem to have forgotten why I changed course. Maybe we should just use the PC to warp back home. And that's probably our cue of what we have to do next. So, thank you, Nurse Joy, for healing me. No one will ever remember what happened just now, except for anyone watching my channel. Her, her. No, not really. All right. Well, that was the coverage of Mewtwo Strikes Back. I love that they did this with the hack. It was so awesome. I hope that they continue to do it, because I think the next one that involves Lugia happens on the Orange Islands, and if that hack is ever finished, we'll see what, we'll see how they transpire it there. So, that's it for Ash Gray for today. So, on the next episode of Ash Gray, why don't we head back home and see what's happening there, since I guess that lady said that might be a good course of action. So, until next time, guys, please like, subscribe, comment. Do all that lovely stuff you always do. The more people know about me, the more things will go well, and the more um, videos I might make, things might go well for us, man. Yeah. All right. So this is Legendary China signing off. See you guys later. Hey, wonder if we can see it. Oh, look it. We're moving over. There they are. Don't die, guys. You can do it. They're gonna challenge. That is an interesting animation for that. He did it. He did it! There's a flag there and it looks like Jans! It had the da 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 noise there, that was kind of awesome. Great job! Pika! Good job, Victor! Who could I finally accomplish a lifelong dream? So what about it? See how good of it. Okay.